Hello and welcome to my new YouTube series where I go over how I work and what kind of tools I use. Today we're going to be using a tool called FZF, the Fuzzy Command Line Finder, I think it's called. Uh, let's go ahead and open up uh, the GitHub repo for it and check it out. Um, you can install it really easily on most like Linux platforms. As you can see, you have a app get installed for Debian-based uh, um, distros. Same, you know, you have a Pacman package for Arch. Um, oh, Pacman! So it's uh, yeah, you don't have to use uh, what do you call it? The, the expanded directory. I don't remember the name of it. Even on Windows, we have a Choco install. Um, I'm sure there's a Mac. Uh, there's there are some Mac instructions here. Looks like brew install FZF. That works. And what it is is that it's called the command line fuzzy finder and the best way to describe it is you know you know how you have the control p on vs code sublime text atom you know you have this way of looking for a random file not random but some specific file in your project directory and you want to find it by typing in just a few letters for example you remember the that it's a um you know, let's say we have a, some, kind of, some kind of a component in your React application and you're like, all right, well, I gotta go find um, this button component and I don't remember the exact way to get to it. You press Control P, you start typing in button and you get a list of different suggestions. Most likely you're, the, the thing you're looking for is up top because editors these days are super smart. Um, and that's what FZF does for your um, command line. So if I just type in FZF, um, I can look through every single file in my directory, including node modules. You can set it up so that it skips node modules. I need to still do that, so I haven't. But let's just say I want to find all the different images. I'll look at that. I got a basic header.jpg, uh, and if I press enter, it returns the name of the file. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to open it. Um, let's see if I can just pipe it. I don't remember if that's how it works. Nope, doesn't work. So let's just say I want to open it, um, and I have this really neat, uh, is it dollar? Something like that. I have this really neat alias called open, and it's like an XDG open or whatever. It works just like the, the open in Mac OS, that it tries to find the, the basic application, uh, not the basic, the application associated with the extension. Uh, let's see if that works. And I'm kind of listing through it with arrows, uh, you can actually select multiple multiple items. That is not working in this situation. All right, fine. So that's kind of difficult, and it sucks. So what you can do instead is install one of the extensions um, for your command line. So FZSH. Let's go ahead and look for any mention of FZF. And there you go. So it actually imports you know this FZF file that gives me some extra. Um, I don't know capabilities in the command line. So as you can see, I have a file that I need to add that that is untracked. And sometimes you might have like 15 different untracked files, and you want to add just one specific one. Um, I hope I'm not the only one that has a ton of different files. Maybe you're trying to segment your commits or whatever. Um, and it kind of sucks having to find the the directory. Like I, I I know it was an article about solar system war. So let's see. I think that in source. Am I forgetting the... Oh, yeah, well, so... I don't know. What Was it in source? Yeah, I thought it was. So git at source posts. And luckily my git um, application, or my git... Uh, I have a git plugin that allows me to autocomplete the entire path to the nearest file um, that needs to be added to git. Um, that's great, but if you have 15 different files, that's not going to work. So what you can do is type in git add star star, and when you press tab in ZSH and other places, it'll automatically scan your entire directory and put you in this little prompt that works just like the control P in VS Code or Atom Sublime Text. So it was a article about, or it was a post that I was a, a sci-fi story about the so solar system war. I typed in solar. I can select it, I can press tab, and it'll select it, and I can actually keep searching. So let's just say I made another change somewhere to the favicon. Great, I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I'm gonna press enter, and when I press enter, it you know, creates the entire command. Oh, that's great. So yeah, that's working. And it's not a just git add, let's just say I wanna reset a single file, and I'm sure we've all been there where we have to check out a file or reset it. 
Um, so let's go ahead and reset that file again, and that worked. So the star star is very powerful, and I just I just love it. Um, there are other situations where I use this. We have an Elixir application at work, and we have tons and tons of test coverage on all of our application code. What that usually results in is like these deep paths to get to a test so you can run just a single tech test. Um, Elixir doesn't really have a nice way of doing dot only that you might be used used to in JavaScript or other languages. So you have to sp uh, find a specific test. And what's great is that you can really do mixed test and then try to find the test, you know, and you just type in whatever. Oh, it's an okay test and it will find it. Um, pressing control G takes you out of it. I wonder if escape will take you out of it. Control C, yeah. So a lot of different uh, shortcuts will take you out of it. And that's kind of it. Um, you can also um, pair this with FD to find a file. So you have FD or find, right? Ooh, it lists all of the files out there so you can find a file. But um, that's actually how this FZF works is that it um, replaces the, um, it replaces I have a setting that replaces uh, um, FZF from using find, it uses FD instead, and FD is a little bit faster. That's another tool, but I'll go over it. Um, the cool thing about FZF is that once you get really used to doing this type of thing, and I've gotten very used to it, and I love it, um, and actually I wonder if I can pipe the contents of a file. That'd be kind of cool. Now I'm just kind of going off the rails here, FZF. Yeah, you can. So you can, type in, you can pipe in anything, and it'll work the same way. And every mention of Gatsby, kind of like a grep, but interactive. That's cool. I didn't know that. Um, looks like you can just pipe in lists of just about anything, and that's wonderful. Um, so yeah, and so FZF also has a, a Vim plugin. And if you have FZF installed on your, on your machine, I believe that means that you don't need to install the uh, plugin separately. Let's go ahead and look at my, not i3, and Vim uh, init config, FZF. Oh, see, I'm going to do this. Look at that. I'm going to pipe it to FZF, and I'm looking for FZF. So I have this AU group FZF. Uh, looks like I do have a plugin, and I'm, um, I'm pointing it toward my local FZF installation, and then I have another plugin that kind of takes over. Um, and I use it as my control P in Vim. And what's great about that is that once you kind of learn how FZF works, you use it. You, you know, it's kind of like learning how to search on Google or other search engines. You know how to kind of string your ideas together to find the right thing. Um, same goes with FZF. Once you kind of like get the feel for how it works and searches for files, it's great that you can use that in the CLI and in Vim. And I've noticed that it, it um, does much better than some of the other alternatives that I've used, and it's much faster. So let's see, I, wanna, I want that solar system. Yeah, and I have the post, you know, it's so fast. I found the post really quickly, the banner image. Uh, oh, sorry, the JPEG. And it uh, looks like, looks like uh, Vim can't open the JPEGs. That's fine. Um, it's just a really powerful, but extremely simple tool. Um, if you use Linux heavily, if you find yourself like trying to remember the path to something, um, like all the time to add, reset, um, when you have a when you have a rebase or a merge conflict, you know you have to manually add those files. If you find yourself doing that a lot, I really suggest trying trying out FZF. It was it is a simple installation, and it works really, really fast. But yeah, that's it for now. This is j just another one of my like CLI tools that I use a lot. Um, thanks for watching.